Good evening, ladies and gentlemen on Facebook. I hope y'all are having a great Friday, and I hope it's since they're changing names and everything, if they don't change the name to Friday, then they should legalize marijuana everywhere in the United States of America and in Alaska and Hawaii. Well, how y'all doing? Look, we had to put the mask on. Every time I walk in a gas station, I just want to go like that. Stick them up. I'm not dealing with it. Freeze. Hands to the air. But, but even higher. But no, we're going to take a mask off. We just thought it had to be said, you know what I mean? Everybody's having to wear masks, and you know what I mean? Tell me if you got a little story about wearing masks. I mean, because I don't know if you're wearing them or not, you know what I mean? I, I have to wear them when I go out to certain places. So let's see what y'all are doing and where y'all are coming from. Probably East Tennessee, the 423. I know exactly where a lot of y'all coming from. Big old city of Irwin. Yes, it is, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, it is. But... Friday funnies, you know what it is. I hope y'all been watching the past couple weeks. I hope y'all have been enjoying it. I don't care if you're really getting on here right now, but we want the viewers. We want the viewers to get on here and be able to tell everybody else about it so they can be on there to watch it, no matter if it's at Friday at 9 o'clock Eastern, 8 Central. But you got to be on here to watch where you get to see it live and get to see Shorty not do no takes, nothing like that. We got some good stuff tonight, you know what I mean? Family tonight, family, family story, family stories, you know what I mean? But I'm so excited because baseball is back. It's any kind of sports is coming back, and it started pretty much yesterday with baseball, physically yesterday. So today we got to watch the Atlanta Braves. Didn't get to watch them play, but they was playing on ESPN, and then it was a blackout. So you tell me, ESPN, how in the name of the Lord do you mess that up on a game of opening day for the Braves and the Mets, one of the good – Baseball game classics, I guess you would say. But yes, we go to Red Sox hat on. So my name is Brandon Shorty Rice, and I felt like I should have something with my initial on it. Sue me. But yes, my Braves lost today, one to nothing. The New York Mets beat us. One home run from Cespus, I guess his name is. Call him Cesspool, I guess. But he did. He smacked the home run, and it, it's the worst loss that you could have in baseball. Is a zero to one, one nothing baseball game because you're like oh my god that one pitch that one hit that one ball going across the fence hitting that fake guy in the face knocking the cardboard off of his eye but yeah that's how baseball is now but i am so excited about sports coming back it's like the first time when i got my virginity took it's better than that excuse me because the girl wasn't that good of a lay but guess what she turned out to be a better lay after she had a lot a lot of practice and we'll get back to her i'm not talking about backing her up i'm talking about we'll get back to her in just a little bit. Let me like this Marlboro for y'all. <laughs> I hope everybody's having a good safe Friday night. We on the front porch this week. We got some beautiful flowers behind us. You know what I mean? We got some orchids. I do know that one. I call these other little trees down here. It's round. I call them ficuses. It ain't even what it is, but they shed like a dog. You know what I mean? Like a long-haired lassie is what they shed like. You'll see it everywhere and it's like oh man picking them little bitty leaves and stuff up yeah it's like shedding dog it's like lassie i said you heard what i said everybody but yes baseball and sports is back and i am so excited like i even been watching some tmz sports in the mornings just to see what's going on with the celebrities but see russell wilson and sierra if you don't know who russell wilson is google him if you don't know who sierra is well i'm just gonna tell you who sierra is she's uh, the girl that danced in the ludicrous video probably about 10 12 years ago with the rump shake and i'm talking like she was down on that car looked like she was hammering a nail into it looked like she was trying to sandpaper the roof of that car with her hind end you know what i mean like she took sandpaper and put it around as a belt and started just sliding across it like a dog son that's who Sierra is. But they're married, and they've been married for a little bit, and they had a kid a kid yesterday. They had a little baby boy. Guess what they named it? Since everybody's naming these kids off the wall crazy stuff, and some of them are cute, but some of them are ridiculous. They named it Win. W-I-N. You know what I mean? It's like Win, Win Wilson. So, yes, when somebody gets mad at that kid, they're going to be screaming like they're cheering for Russell Wilson. I guess he needs a couple more fans but that's his call, not mine. But yes, they're going to be going, Wilson, 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 uh, win, Wilson, win, Wilson. They're probably, it's probably going to be people making fun of the kid thinking he's talking about the volleyball that's on uh, Tom Hanks' castaway. They're going to make fun of him saying, Ah, Mr. Wilson, Mr. Wilson, ah, Wilson. 
Win Wilson now. That's his name. So we'll see how good he can win because, like I said, I do enjoy watching Russell Wilson play because he played baseball. He got drafted in baseball and took the career in football. Shout out to everybody on a Friday night. You know what I mean? I wish we was in front of 100,000 people, but guess what? We ain't there yet, are we? I can sit for 100,000. I thought about getting my microphone out tonight and just practicing. I'm not talking about putting it in my mouth and doing nothing sexual like that some of y'all perverts think. Not that. But the Washington Redskins. Name's gone, everything. That's history now. They changed it. No more buying it or no more seeing it. Nothing like that. But did anybody see what they named the football team? Now, this is true. The Washington football team. Now, the Washington, that's the reason that I never really liked Jens anyway, but Jens had a real cool logo and a lot of history behind it. So, yes, I gave Jens a little bit of respect, but now I'm going back to where I was at thinking, why in the name of the Lord did Jens do that? You could have named it the Memorials. You could have named it the Abraham. I don't know what you could have named. You could have named it the Golden Retrievers for all I care. Ren 10 10 for all I care. Name it something, but see, what do you put as your logo? What do you put, Washington? Do you put a big W on it or like a WFT or something? Like, I don't understand it. They had some good names out there, and I guess Dan Snyder, the owner of the Redskins, just said, forget it, I'm going to name it just this right here, playing old Jane. But I have a feeling they'll change it, just like any other sports teams that's been named. Like the Wizards, it took them two or three years to get that name. Like the Titans, it took them a year or two to get it. So, I guarantee there'll be another team up there in Washington pretty soon. Just a team name. I didn't mean a team, a team name, but yes. I seen Dwayne Haskins probably two or three weeks ago panhandling, uh, you know what I mean, on the sports centers, not top ten. He was like, can I have some change? I will throw a football at your mother in the face. I'll hit your mother in the face with a football for a dollar. You know what I mean? He was standing at the county fair throwing footballs or shooting basketballs at that thing, and he's not even a basketball player. He's a quarterback. He should be home throwing footballs through a tire instead of at the county fair shooting basketballs, right? All right, here's his little do joke. I seen, I watched a little bit of news. Like, I like the ABC News with Dave Muro, the world news, but I seen the other day on Twitter, and I was seeing something Trump tweeted. Now, this man should have both thumbs cut off because some of the shit he says is just outright ridiculous. But Shorty will scream something crazy at first, and then he'll back up and punt and think about what he said and think about what he said is about to happen and be like, no, no, not going to happen. Donald Trump, you need some counseling. Brandon Shorty Rice, Instagram and YouTube, you know what it is. Hit us up, baby, Donald Trump. But no, he approved 100 million vaccines, I guess, for the corona flu. And 300 to 400 million more coming. Ladies and gentlemen, if he would have been like, hey, I've got free Percocets, come and get them. They would have been people lined up for days trying to get them free Percocets or lower tabs or a Valium. If you'd throw the Xanax out there, by God, they'd have been like cockroaches on a piece of an Oreo cookie. It would have been so funny. Like, yeah, like they would have eat that shit up. Yum, 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 yum. We're going to smoke, and I believe I'm going to have to take a look, look at the hair. Uh-oh, what do you think? It's about to be a man bun in a couple of days. Yup, it's going to be a man well a couple of weeks, I believe. It won't be long, Captain Rogers. Captain Sumac Dan. Cap Captain Humidity like a mother lover in the state of South Carolina. Like, you know what I mean? It looks like it's going to rain, and then it turns right around, and it'll be just humid, humid and sunny and the prettiest day you've ever seen in your life. I guess that's that South Carolina, South Carolina letter. South Carolina weather. South Carolina weather. But, yeah. Let's see. What else we got? Speaking of dicks, since we was talking about Donald Trump. Now, ladies, I don't know if this is true, and I don't know why you don't do this. If I was a female, and I had like a four or five hour car ride to go somewhere, or go home, whatever it was you was doing, or just a trip to get the hell away from your family. I don't know. Why don't you just take in a dildo that's got kind of like a plug on it, almost like a butt plug, and just sit on that sucker all the time and just every once in a while veer over to the right side of the road where it's like, D -d 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 and then it would get you off real quick and you'd drive back over and feel all smooth. And then whenever you want to get off, you just be like, burr, burr. yeah. That'd be the best way to get off while you're driving, taking a long trip. 
Don't know what for. Maybe you see your boyfriend. Who knows? You might just want to get laid on the beach and get sand in the crack of your ass so you can rub it together like Sierra did on top of that car that Ludacris had in that video one time. Can't remember the name of the video. But, I had to put the cigarette out. I had to put the cigarette out. Get us a drink of Mountain Dew. We're going to tell you a little bit of story right here. My grandmother, my dad's mom, you look Kate Rice, we love you to death, my mom. You've been more of a mother to me than any mother I've ever had. I love you, my mom. You're like a mother. You are my mother. You understand? My mom's been in the hospital having some complications and stuff like that. As of now, she's okay. So thank y'all for everybody that's going to give me the sympathy and say thank you and, you know I mean, prayers and stuff like that. We all pray for my mom every single day. So thank y'all already for saying what y'all are going to say. But it's always nice to have people thinking of you. And more prayers means... A lot more people talking. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about my mamma today. Like my mamma and papa, Homer Cat. If you don't know my papa, his name's Homer. You know what I mean? My papa don't hardly say nothing. Hardly has ever said anything. My daddy's on gas station, movie stores. I mean, we've been through some craziness. And my papa, only time I've ever heard him cuss was two, I think, two cuss words. And he, he said, if that dog shits in my yard again, I'm going to kick. Or I'm, if that dog shits in my yard again bitch i'm gonna make you pick it up or something like yeah like he was cussing a girl that my dad was actually screwing with and been with for a couple years by then she had this little yorkie shit zoo looking dog that papa didn't like but now if me and dad brought in a big old dog or something like that shit in piles like an elephant it would have been okay but if somebody else done it papa wasn't having it but no my papa's a real quiet man is what i'm trying to say my mama's the total opposite she's just like me and my daddy talkative, raising cane, always been the fighter, you know what I mean, my mama has been mean before, she's told me stories, like, you know what I mean, like, all kinds of stuff, but, uh, I remember one time I was, uh, running from Elizabeth and Carter County Police one time, and, uh, I got gone and got away from them, and I called Papa at, like, 3 o'clock in the morning, and I was, they was asleep, of course, but they did at this time stay up to, like, 12 or 1, and I was like, Papa, I was like, I need you to come to the Pete's Inn over here in Elizabeth and get me. And he was like, what have you done now? And the only thing you hear in the background is Mamma hollering, you better go get the youngin' before the police get him, Homer. Get out of the bed, put your pants on, and go get him now. And I was like, thank you, Mamma. So, yes, I got away one time. So that's one for the Mamma, no for the police. Zero for the police, one for Mamma. But no, my Mamma and Papa has always had a scanner. Like, my whole life... I don't believe they've been but three times that my mamma's scanner has been turned off, and that was just to move it from one house to the new house. Only times I've ever seen the scanner off. Like, my mamma and papa has been there literally as soon as the police pull up because they would hear a call going, and they would say my name over the scanner, and they would go to wherever the call was. I know at least two times I've been arrested with my mamma and papa riding by in the car. I'll low down in the seat, you know what I mean? Like, because my family's short anyway, so low down in the seat looking like they riding a 6-4 or something but mamma and him just creeping by making sure what was going on but yeah one of the funniest times i have ever one of the funniest times that mamma i've ever had a call you know mean thing we used to call her stramma stramma everybody all my buddies we call her stramma my mamma was crazy you know what I mean? Like, Mamma was crazy as lunatic, but I tell you, if I wanted to go to Mamma's house, lay frigged up, trashed off my hind end, I didn't have to worry about nobody calling the police. So, that's exactly right, and everybody around me know that, too, that Mamma's house was a safe place. So, what it was is that me and four of my buddies, me, Ben Brother, to an R.I.P., Travis, and Nugget, we're going to say Nugget, you know what I mean? Some people know him, some people don't. If you don't know him, then sorry for your luck. But we was taking these two girls. We're going to call them S and then K. We was taking these two girls back to my downstairs like room. When I was like 15 years old, I had a downstairs room that you walk in the garage. And there's a big garage. And in my room, I walked in the door and had my own room pretty much. My own bathroom. You know what I mean? Refrigerator, microwave, self stuff like that. My own phone number at like 13 years old. Like, yeah, but this was 15 when this happened. And Nugget used to drive this Acura, this legend, this old beat up legend. Like, we used to give that car so much crap. He used to tore that car slap up, and it was still running. Don't ask why, but buy your Acura legend, and I promise they will run for a good little bit. I promise. 
But we get going, and we go pick these two girls up, and we get down there, and we're like, uh-oh. It's time to do it. I was like, I'm going first. I'm going first because my Peter's too little. My Peter's little. I'm not going after nobody. Smallest one. Set and done. Case closed. So Shorty goes first with Travis because Travis was just Travis. So we're in there. We're beating this and K.O. You know what I mean? We're just swapping off. You know what I mean? Sticking in our poopers. Cramming it. You know what I mean? Smashing them. Anyway, we get done. So I get, you know what I mean? Me and Travis get up and we get Ben and uh, who at Nugget in the house and me and Travis take Nugget's car down to the gas station to get us a pack of cigarettes and something to drink. True story. When we pull back in in that ledge and beat up to death like you could hear the bearings in it just like it was tore slap up. My mamma done beat us back to that house son and was in my bedroom getting a bat trying to swing it around to hit them two girls and the only thing I see is Ben Brotherton and Nugget running across the neighbor's yard with their pants. Literally grabbed their like, pants like this and was getting it, son. They was running like scalded dogs from my mom and then, and then two girls trying to put their clothes on hollering, please don't hit me, please don't hit me. I was like, Travis, I was like, that's exactly why we went first because if the party's busted, we was done busted too. So, yes, it was some fun times back then. But I remember one time that I didn't know where my brass knuckles went, that my mom must have, uh, must have, uh, took pretty much took my buddy made some aluminum brass knuckles for me one time and i didn't know where they went and i was i can't remember what i was doing i can't remember why the conversation even come up but my mom walks down to the store and uh had a towel wrapped around her hand and i was like mama what's the matter did you cut your hand or what's wrong like that she unwraps her hand and she's like Here's them brass knuckles you've been wanting. She's like, if anybody needs to get licked with them, I believe I'm going to do it. Because I can go to jail and tell them I'm crazy. And by God, she believes that, too. She believed that co-heartedly, you know what I mean? But yes, my mama and papa has been there for me, just like my daddy has. Like, you know what I mean? Like I said, my daddy's my daddy, but my papa is just like my daddy, and my mama is my mama. You know what I mean? Like, they raised me all my life. They've been there every time I picked that phone up and called from jail. They've sent money done money brought me food they've done everything i could ask of them you know what i mean so i just wanted to say my mom we love you you know what i mean everybody just keep watching baby you know what i mean we get a little bit of a personal side of shorty y'all get to know shorty but a lot of the facebook people y'all know exactly who i was and now y'all see who i am so yes keep your prayers out for everybody in my family right now and yes my mama is doing good Mamaw will be okay, but like I said, keep watching me, baby. That's what Mamaw would want. Mamaw would tell me to make him smile and not to be nasty, because if Mamaw knew I'd be nasty, boy, she'd beat the brakes off me with that big old fro like that. You know what I mean? Ladies and gentlemen, I hope y'all like these Friday Night Funnies. Come back next Friday night at 9 o'clock Eastern, 8 o'clock Central. Prayers out there, everybody. Y'all have a be, be a safe Friday night. And hope to see you again next Friday night. If I don't see you, tell your friends because they'll like me a lot better than you do. Y'all have a good Friday night.